All right, it is time to get started. So I want you to sit and rock forward and back and side to side. Oh, hello. Forward and back and side to side and then get still. Okay, do that again. Go forward and back and side to side. Back and forth and then get still. Are you really still? Okay, go again. Rocking side to side. So I live near the water, which is super fun right now because I get to see the water. There aren't many boats. Get still. But I don't need any boats to be on the water because I can make my body in the shape of a boat. So I'm going to turn to the side. And you're going to have your feet flat on the ground. It's a little challenging here. Feet flat on the ground. Take your hands, swoop them underneath your legs, and just start rocking. Pick your feet up, forward and back. And maybe you balance a little bit, or maybe not. Just forward and back. Ooh. Okay, now see if you can balance and lift your arms up. And straighten your legs up and then come down and then be you rock side to side Laura you better be doing this with me right now so you're rocking side to side forward and back because I'm looking at the water and there's no boats so I'm gonna be a boat can you be a boat with me awesome do that again I am going to be a boat be a boat with me ready be a boat and come back and sit down. Awesome. Okay, so it's really, really fun to look out at the water and see all the boats. And it makes me feel like I could swim. Can you do a little swimming? Whatever kind of swimming movement you want to do with your arms, just moving your arms, swimming forward. You can move them any way you want to. You can dive into the water and pop back up. Can you do that again? Can you take a big breath in and dive into the water and come back up? Good, one more. Take a big breath in, dive into the water with me and come back up. That's so fun. There's so many different things to see on the water. Lots of birds. Can you move your arms like the bird's wings? Oh, that's good. Move them all the way up. And then take a little twist to the side and take a big belly breath in and come all the way up and a big twist to the side all the way up and now move those arms again like wings like the birds that are flying over the water that I see the water that doesn't have any boats on it so what do we have to do we have to make our body in the shape of a what a boat let's do it again I know you're really excited about this, so swoop your hands underneath, kick your legs up, reach your arms up, and you can kind of rock your boat side to side. Maybe it makes you tumble to the side, it's okay. And then sit still. And then maybe again you reach the arms up, reach the legs up, you're being a boat on the water, but the water looks a little bit wavy. And then come up. And then what else did we see in the water? Well, sometimes in the water and sometimes flying high in the sky above the water, right? These birds. And then we take our arms up and on an inhale, we're going to dive into the water, pop up. And can you show me your swimming? However you want to swim, whatever way it is that you want to swim, it can be a fast swim or a slow swim and then do that again take a breath in and a breath out okay now I don't live on water where I see any surfboards at all um, but I think it would be fun to stand up and pretend that we were on a surfboard do you want to do that with me I might have to adjust my screen for you a little bit so okay you can take whatever foot forward you want to bend one knee it's called warrior, but right now it feels like surfer pose. So one knee is bent, 
and one leg is straight back and I want you to move your upper body around a little bit but keep your legs still Ooh, and then get still smooth water here now it's a little bit of a rough water right a little bit wobbly and then still let's take a breath in straighten both your legs and do the other side we'll surf in the other direction now so you're surfing it's a little wobbly and then get still and then surfing a little wobbly and get still and take a breath in and let's sit back down I like to go through all of the things that I've done and keep adding on to them and we have a few more things to add on but let's go through what we did so far so I live on the water and right now I don't see any boats so we're gonna make the shape of a boat and so then the boats are wobbly wobbly boats and then we come back to sit and then I see birds in the water flying above the water take a breath in we reach your arms up dive into the water pop back up Ooh, good and show me your favorite way to swim it can be fast it can be slow backwards and forwards take an inhale reach your arms up and exhale bring your hands down and I want to get up and surf a little bit you want to do that with me okay that was fun so jump up did you jump up let me see you jump up in the air oh good job here we go warrior but it's our surfing warrior moving your body around but your legs stay nice and strong and move your body around your surfing and then you just get nice and still straighten your legs take a breath in other side take a breath out and move your warrior we're just surfing warrior I think I made that up it's okay though and get still and then surf Ooh, shaky water and get still and take a breath in and take a breath out now I'm on my knees sitting back down on my knees Whew. we were in a boat we saw birds we dove into the water yeah we were swimming and we were surfing so there's a one other thing there's a few more things but I don't want to do them all at once but there is one more thing that I really loved to do when I'm near the water yeah I like to watch the ripples in the water I like to just notice the way the water moves can you take one hand and then sometimes the way the water is still and now the other hand the way the water moves and then sometimes the way the water is still do that again with both hands you can watch the way the water moves and you can even move your body up and down so I'm lifting up onto my knees arms up like the waves and down good big ripples maybe you make your body ripple and down and up and down okay let's go through this again and I might add on a few things here and there so we're gonna start by sitting down on your bottoms let's together take a big breath in and a big breath out so I live on the water I've been telling you that and on the water I'm not seeing any boats right now but that's okay because we can make our bodies the shape of a boat you ready your legs can come up your arms can come up it can be a wobbly boat and maybe your boat twists side to side you can take your hands under your legs it could be a still boat take a breath in make it wobbly again take a breath out and come back to seated facing me that's awesome now I've been seeing birds flying up above the water I actually just looked out and saw one right now it's awesome to see the birds can you move the wings 
Now with me, take a breath in and let's just twist. Take a breath out. Like those birds are changing directions, flying with their wings up on an inhale and looking in the other direction as you exhale. Take a breath in. Sometimes they dive into the water, dive into the water, and pop back up. And now show me your favorite way to swim. Move your arms. You can go forwards and backwards any way you swim. Doggy paddle. Is that what that is? I think it is. Any way you love to swim, you can do that. But swimming isn't the only thing that we do, right? Not on this water, but I can imagine using my thoughts and then the visuals that come into my eyes. I see pictures of people surfing. So stand up with me. We're in a warrior position, that front knee's bent, back leg straight, keep your legs still. But sometimes I see surfers and they're wobbly and sometimes they're still. Take a breath in, straighten your legs, bend the other knee. Sometimes they're wobbly and then they're still. Take a breath and straighten the legs. And as you exhale, come down, bend your knees. I'm sitting my bottoms on my heels. And I like to stop and watch the water. I watch the ripples in the water. Sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small, and sometimes they're still. Sometimes they're big. Sometimes they're small. And sometimes they're still. Now I'm going to stay sitting up, but there is one last thing that I really love to do when I'm near the water. I like to lay down, maybe even pretending I'm floating in the water, and I like to look up at the clouds. So if you want to, friends, you can lay down, pretend you're floating on the water, and look up at the clouds. And then get really quiet. And maybe you can even hear the birds. Maybe you can hear the water. Maybe with your eyes closed, you can picture a beautiful sky, big fluffy clouds, a bright shining sun. And maybe you can start to let your body feel just a bit lighter. Maybe you take one hand to your chest and one to your tummy and feel your breath go in and out. Take one more deep belly breath in and one deep breath out. If you are laying down, can you come up and sit and look at me for a moment? Friends, I have so much fun doing yoga with you. This is what I want you to do. If you have an idea for what kind of yoga we should do, you can have your parents or somebody type into the comments or send me a message here on Facebook. So the first time we did yoga, I talked about everything I saw on a walk, and this time it was about being near the water. But what kind of things do you think we could do in our yoga class? I would love to hear from you, and I'd love to see pictures of you doing yoga as well. Friends, parents, thank you so much. Have a really beautiful day. One second before we leave. Let's take a big breath in and reach your arms up and a long breath out. All right, my friends, have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope to hear from you soon.